Hey guys, just wanted to do another quick uh, update video on my portable Voigt Kampf scanner from Blade Runner 2049. Uh, up here I've just got a 3D printed dummy, uh, kind of just a solid thing to show me that I have the approximate size and shape of the device that I want correct, and I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, but this is mostly here just for scale purposes, and the real star of the show is the display down here. Um, the movie version of this prop did not have a working display. It had a green screen on here, and I guess they were going to do something in CGI in post, but I decided I wanted to really one-up them uh, as far as uh, my replica is concerned and make the screen work. And so what I was doing initially was I was programming a uh, Adafruit Pro Trinket here to manage the display. This thing was great, but didn't have a whole lot of memory, so I ended up replacing it with something that was almost the exact same size. And what we're looking at here is the Teensy 3.2 microcontroller. It has way more memory and way more, uh, basically, CPU power, so it's able to drive the screen a lot better. Uh, I'm going to press the button and turn it on. It's running off a lithium polymer battery over on this side here just to demonstrate that it does work. Uh, when I turn it on, it's just going to go through a demo cycle, which means it's going to do the start screen, then pause, then do an analysis or a scan of a target. Uh, all of that is just while the device is on. These will be on separate buttons. So let's show. Here we go. It's the start screen, and it's waiting for scan data, which will populate in a second. And here's the scan data. Now this is all procedurally generated, and basically it's it's coming up with all this data after creating a profile. So it's figuring out the gender of the person, if they're male or female, it's picking random thumbprints up at the top here uh, from a pool of thumbprints so that you have, you know, different prints every time. The eye graphic it's showing on the screen is just, just the same eye graphic for each right now, but I'll have a couple different sets so it'll show you uh, a different eye every time you scan. And all the rest of this data is procedurally generated as well. The, the level uh, for the physical and mental state for the replicants are displayed. Their jobs or functions are here. Um, their serial numbers are being created on the fly and the names are also being made up on a, a per scan basis. Basically it takes a first name and a last name from a table and combines them. And all of this data is held inside the device so that it can uh, display it all properly. And so you see here we've got a replicant that's showing the identity of the replicant with his serial number. And on these other scan displays, you've got these red blips to show that there's some, uh, you know, kind of synthetic information being picked up on the scan. Uh, if I turn this off and on again, there's about a 50-50 chance it figures out if the target is a replicant or a human. Maybe we'll get lucky and you can see what happens when there's a human instead. So let's see. There's the start screen again. And this one is also a replicant. And at the bottom here, you can see this one, he's decided it has an arrest status and lists some of his crimes so that whoever's doing the scan can know if they're dealing with a criminal or not. And this one is actually, it looks like an off-world colonist named Ajax Sebastian. And it's got his code number here. And you'll notice these displays are all different from the last scan because they're generated on the fly. I'm going to do it one more time and let's see if we can get something a little different here. I'd like to show one of the human outputs. And this one is human, and it looks like Marilyn Pym. And uh, you'll see here, it's got uh, the physical and mental states are just listed as NA because I'm assuming this device can't scan that off of humans. Uh, the date of birth here is listed as redacted, which is interesting. There's about a one in 10 chance that it shows uh, redacted instead of a real date of birth. But you'll see there's no red markers on any of the other information here, other than the crime stuff at the bottom, uh, which basically means that there's no synthetic components to the individual you just scanned. But that's where we're at right now. I have a couple other ideas and things I want to implement, but I uh, figured I'd show it off at this point. Very happy with how it's going so far. Would love feedback and uh, you know other opinions or design ideas from you guys. Thanks.